that was good for me, but can you put your hands together for Jesus? Oh, come on. I think we can do better than that. I said, can you put your hands together for Jesus? Come on. If he's been good to you, you ought to say something to him. I said, can you put your hands together for Jesus? Come on. Come on. He's been a way maker. He's been a lawyer. He's been a doctor. Come on. We can do better than that. I said, can you put your hands together for Jesus? Hallelujah. Come on. No, Sarah, come on. Come on. Put your hands together for Jesus for about 60 more seconds. Just put your hands together. <laughs> Hallelujah. We can do better than that. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. It is a pleasure to be among you. I want to give thanks and honor to the angel of this house, um, Dr. Nalen, and in his absence. Come on, can we give God praise for him? <laughs> Hallelujah. And to the host of this amazing revival, Bishop Miniweather. And I want to thank God for the I thank God for the invitation in the call. And I want to give honor to my pastor, Apostle Clyde Lewis. And um, I want to give honor to my mother is here. She's back there with my little sister is back there. Come on, my three cousins is back there. Come on. Listen, my mom, my grandma, and my great-grandma, come on, is here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My friends are here. My two friends in the balcony, listen, it is most, it is certainly good to be in the house of the Lord. It was so much warfare today. Um, as I was leaving the house, um, on my way to make a store run, the car broke down on the side of the road, and it was just a block up from the house, and I immediately started worshiping when the car broke down, and um, because God blocked the attack a block away from the house, so I don't know who I'm talking to, but whatever the enemy is trying to throw at you, God is going to block it as soon, God is going to block it the moment the moment God is going to block it, the moment it tries to come at you. So, so yeah, 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 yeah. Let's let's get into this word. Y'all not y'all not happy tonight. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> That's okay. Um, we're going to the book of Matthew, the fifth book of Matthew. We're going to the fourteenth verse, and it says, "We can we all stand for the reading of God's word?" And it says, "Ye are the light of the world, a city." that is set on on a hill cannot be hid um you may have your seats um i just want to speak from the topic tonight light to the lost and if i had a subtopic it would simply be turn on the light turn on light. look at your neighbor and say neighbor turn on that light turn on that light turn on that light turn on that light hallelujah hallelujah we also thank god for my brother walter being with us today um my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this season that we're, that we're in, darkness is all around. It fills our minds and spirit each and every day. We turn on the TV, it's there. We go on, we go on our phones, it's there. It's even in most of our conversations amongst our peers. We walk in the grocery store, darkness is there. We show up to our jobs, darkness is there. We show up to church services, revival, conferences, gatherings, darkness is there. It lets us know that it is imperative that the light of God must be necessary in this season of our lives. It also lets us know that the light that God has placed on the inside of us must outshine the darkness that we are seeing amongst us. It is time for the true believers to wake up and turn on the light that God has placed on the inside of us and let darkness know that it has no room when the light of Jesus Christ steps on the scene. It brings me to my first point that there can't be no light without darkness. A lot of us can testify that if it wasn't for our dark days, we wouldn't know how effective the light of Christ would be in our lives. Because the truth of the matter is if it wasn't it wasn't in the light that we found out the difference between light and darkness we had to be on both ends of the fence to know the difference being in the dark was destroying us and building our faith 
being in the light showed us that those dark days were all worth it. And some of us need to be willing right now to throw our hands up towards heaven and say, Lord, I thank you for my dark days. Because it was in the dark that he was building us, shaping us, molding us into what he has called us to be. All while darkness was causing us to destroy ourselves, he was making it into a testimony. For when we finally decide to step into that marvelous light, you see there has to be a balance with the negative and positive. Your car battery can't run on all positive or all negative. There has to be the working of the two in order for the car to run. That's why the word of God says all things work together for the good of them that love him and who are called according to his purpose. You see, my brothers and sisters, the word light in the Greek is foes. It's a source of light. In the New Testament, it means the manifestation of God's self-existent life. Divine illumination to reveal, the, to reveal and impart light, to impart light, to, re, to impart life, my bad, through Christ. The word darkness in the Greek is so, skotos, meaning darkness, either physical or moral. The principle of sin within is certain results. And the definition of dark is little with no light or the absence of light in the place. And so now, my brothers and sister, my brothers and sisters, this is what's happening now. There is an absence of light because the true sons and daughters of God won't stop hiding the light. And it brings me to point number two. We must stop hiding the light. People of God, we are going People of God, if we are going to be the light of Jesus Christ, we must not keep the light hidden. The reason why a lot of us are hiding the light that God has placed on, side, on the inside of us is because we simply fear the dark. Growing up, I can never sleep without a lamp or a TV. If I didn't have my lamp, I had to have my TV on. If I didn't have my TV on, I had to have the lamp on. Simply because fear had programmed my mind to think the dark had power over me. And if I had any real folk in here today, a lot of us, a lot of us, fear has done the same exact thing to us when it comes to the darkness in the world. But we have to remember that greater is he that's within us than he that's within the world. I also heard my Bible say that he has not given us a spirit of fear but of power love and a sound mind we are the salt of the earth but my question is have we lost our flavor ye are the light of the world a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel but on the candlestick and to give it light to all that are in the house let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven which brings me to my last point we're talking about light and we're talking about darkness but out of all of that we must be the light in order in order to be the light you must be connected to the light you have to be connected to the one who said let there be light the one who created light the one who separated light from the darkness the one who separated day from night in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God the same was in the beginning with God all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made in him was life and the life was the light of men and the light shineth in the darkness and the dark and the darkness comprehended it not there was a man sent from God named was John the same hold on well we gonna rock out in a minute the same was came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe he was not that light but was sent to bear witness of the light so he that was the true light which light of every man that cometh into the world first John 1 5 through 7 said this is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and, he, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ cleanseth us from all sin. The one who calls us a chosen generation, a royal priesthood and holy, a holy nation 
nation, a peculiar people, that we should show forth the praises of him who have called us out of darkness and the marvelous light. We are his people who have obtained mercy. Walt, let's walk out now. Let's, let, let's, let, let's, let's go now. So we must be a witness of that light. This is the light that I am talking about. Some call him Lily of the Valley. Some call him the Rose of Sharon. Some call him a wonderful counselor. And some call him Jehovah Jireh. Some call him the Prince of Peace. Some call him Je Jehovah Shalom. But I, I like to call him Jesus the Wounded Lamb. Jesus the Great I Am. He's the Ancient of Day. He's the lawyer in the courtroom. The doctor in the sick room. What's his name tonight? Can you holler Jesus? Oh, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Call him Jesus. Let's go. Let's rock. Call his name Jesus. What is he to you? Has he been your mother? Has he been your father? I dare you to call his name. I dare you to call his name. The reason he is the light is because one day they took my Jesus and put him on that cross. They hung him high. They stretched him wide. He hung his head. And for me, his died. That's not how the story ends. Three days later. Three days later. Three days later, he got up with all power in his hand. And since he got up, you can too. Since he is the light of the world, you are too. Come out of that darkness. Come out of that dark place. Step into the light. He brought us out of the darkness into his marvelous light. And my soul. In my soul, in my soul, my soul is happy today. Let's, yes, Lord, come on, my time is up. Can you stand up on your feet and call his name? I said, can you stand up on your feet and call his name? What's his name? To yeah. What's his name? Come on. 